an object O of mass 4 kilograms, so object O of mass of 4 kilograms, so its, it's uh, weight will be 4 g newtons, is suspended by light strings OA, OA and OB of combined length, so these have a combined length of 34 meters and OB is greater than the length of OA. Points A and B are on the same horizontal level and are 26 metres apart. A horizontal force is applied to the object O so that the tension OB o -B, is twice the tension in OA. So the, this is T, then this one will be 2T, this force will be 2T. And that they are perpendicular to each other, so that this angle here would have to be 90 degrees. Find the value of P and the tension in each string. As there are more than three concurrent forces, we should use the method of resolving forces. However, what we've got to do first of all is find the value of uh, sine theta and cos theta. We don't actually have to find the value of the angle. So if we let that one, this length here be x, then this one will be 34 minus x, because these two have to add up to 34. So OA is x and OB is 34 minus x. And then by Pythagoras, theorem x squared plus 34 minus x squared must be equal to 26 squared. Then we get x squared plus 1,156 1, minus 68x plus x squared is equal to 676. And then we get 2x squared minus 68x plus 480 is equal to 0. Dividing through by 2, we get x squared minus 34x plus 240 is equal to zero, and this factorizes quite easily into x minus 10, x minus 24, and therefore x is equal to 10, or x is equal to 24. However, this one is the shorter of the two, therefore OA is 10 meters, and OB is 24 meters, as OB is greater than OA. So from that, we can now say the sine of this angle is opposite over hypotenuse, so that's going to be five, uh, 10 over 26, which is 5 over 13. And cos of this angle is going to be 24 over 26, which is going to be 12 over 13. We're now ready to resolve the uh, horizontally. So resolving horizontally, if we draw a line in here, this force here will be 2t cos theta this one from here to here and then we will have to take from it uh, first of all we have to realize that this angle here is also theta because uh, this is 90 this would be 90 minus theta therefore this one will have to be theta and therefore we're going to say that t sine theta because this is a sine opposite t sine theta is going minus p because p is going in that direction so we've got one force going that way two forces going that way and that being positive and that being negative we'll call that equation one and then resolving vertically we've got two forces going upwards we've got this one from here and then this one from here as well so it's 2t sine theta plus t cos theta minus 4g so that's going downwards must be equal to zero and then from 2, we can say that 2t times cosine of theta is going to be 5 over 13, plus t times cos of theta, which is 12 over 13, is going to be equal to 4g, taking that over the other side. Collecting this up will give me 2 times 5, which is 10 plus 12, which is 22 over 13, lots of t is equal to 4g. Therefore, t will be equal to 13 times 4, which is 52g over 22. G is 9.8 meters per second squared, so we get 23.163 newton as the value for T. Substitute into 1, so the 1 is 2T cos theta minus T sine theta minus P is equal to 0. We want to find P, so P is going to be 2T cos theta minus T sine theta. Remember that sine theta is 5 over 13, cos theta is 12 over 13. So substituting in 2 times my value of t, 23.163, times the cos of the angle, which is 12 over 13, minus 23.163, times 
times 5 over 13, which gives me 33.854, so it's 33.9 newtons. So drawing a diagram, this P will be 33.9 newtons, this one will be 22.2, and this one will have to be twice it, 46.2. This is only approximate load. Okay, so this has been resolving forces. We're doing a little bit of trigonometry first.